Hello dear Aries, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking and this is your mid-February 2019 reading. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do the Divine Spread for you dear Aries. This is going to be interesting. Um, you know we've got Chiron at the last degree of Pisces as well as Uranus and Mars that are together at the end of Aries. So the last, last degrees, it certainly feels like time has stopped. There is a void. We're in a vacuum at this time. Let's see what the energies are that you're working with and your divine messages. Let's look at your Karma Dharma card for this time, dear Aries. And you have the High Priestess. And, you know, she is the, the moon goddess. She keeps the information to herself. So I guess that we need to, um, I should say you need to go with your intuition. Um, some of you have obviously got the power within you to feel through the energies at this time. Um, now, the moon goddess, you know, what is the moon? It's all about our intuition. It's the moon can also be dealing with fears. You know that Chiron is all about the victim mentalities. Uh, Pisces is all about fear and um, doom and gloom. Now having the wounded healer at the last degree, this is a 51 year cycle that's ending. And I don't know if a lot of you have noticed, but there's been a lot of health issues. People have had... Um, unexpected dealings with health issues, with hospitals, that's what Pisces is. And we're counting down, there's four more days left before the end of this major cycle. Now Mars and Uranus, Mars is just coming off Uranus. Um, and you know that this can be a very explosive sort of an energy. I've noticed that... Uh, Issues with blood pressure, you know, Mars is electrified by Uranus at this time. Um, Uranus is radical. It's, you know, it's things changing quickly. It's electricity. It's innovation. So for those of you that are feeling very creative at this time, your ruler is just leaving your sign. So this is very important both Uranus and Mars at 29 degrees. Now, Mars is moving in about three hours. So by the time you receive this reading, your ruler will be in Taurus. So it's going to slow down. Let's see what's happening. Dear Aries, mid-February till end of February 2019, what is at the root of the situation for you? Five of Wands. What is hidden that you don't know about? You have the Empress. That's beautiful. I love the Empress. Now, in the recent past, the Six of Swords. At the present position, you've got the Lovers. Wow. Now, crowning your reading, and this is your highest ideal, your, you know, this is what's on your mind. You've got the Ace of Wands. Lovely. The advice position and the action to take is the Eight of Pentacles. And the outcome for you, dear Aries, is the Page of Pentacles. Now let's look at the divine position. So what is happening planetarily? How is it affecting you? Wow. Two of Wands. This is beautiful. Two of Wands is a beautiful energy. I personally love this card because there is, I feel that you're going, you're starting something new. You are making some sort of a decision, dear Aries. Some sort of a decision. What I want to do is I want to take three of Amira's Love Oracle cards and let's see in relation to love. And this is a new, a new deck that I have purchased from Amira Salon, which I love. 
and I've been meaning to purchase this deck for a while. Let's see what's showing up for Aries. Aries in love at this time of mid-February. So you have the mature woman. Wallflower and this is you know this card has been showing up recently for a few people as well as wow <laughs> true love dear Aries this is beautiful now true love today is Valentine's Day yes I am working on Valentine's Day <laughs> I just can't keep up Valentine's Day is all around. I believe that we can have Valentine's Day every day of our life, especially when we're um, with the right partner. Okay, so we should celebrate love every single day, not just on Valentine's Day. You know, Valentine's Day is like a jolt that uh, we receive. Hello stop and smell the roses that's what valentine's day is all about let's take a planet card an astrological card which also shows zodiac signs also house a, a particular house so let's see for you aries what other information i have for you and i will take a few sabilas once i have looked through your reading for Aries and mid-February till end of February and I do close my eyes as I choose the card and you have Taurus well this is where your ruler Mars is moving into and it says the energy around you shows the abundance of nature it is rich earthy and productive yet relaxed and slow so some of you could be dealing with a Taurian individual as well they could have strong Taurus in their chart where can I put this card there is not enough room on my table I know it's a bit hard for you to see the card there maybe that is a better position okay so Taurus is the natural second house in the zodiac and for you obviously especially if your rising sign is in Aries Taurus would be your second house of second house is the physical body it's also what we have um, because Taurus is um, described with the words I have so Taurus is a wallet is all about what we have uh, accumulated what we have accomplished Taurus is all about the five senses as well as um, having all those beautiful comforts in our life they're all about anything that is beautiful they're ruled by Venus so um, for you it's obviously your house of income what you own and you know with the Empress here in the th in uh, the hidden position the Empress speaks of um, because there's the glyph of Venus this is Venusian energy so Venus rules Taurus as well as Gemini and you've also got the card of Gemini here so you may be dealing with someone who's got strong um, who is ruled I want to say by Venus they could even have Taurus and Venus and when I say having Taurus and Venus they could be Taurus Sun Moon in uh, Gemini or they could have a stellium of planets in Gemini that's just an example but the lovers card is here and the lovers is always a relationship which is um, very karmic it is something that's meant to be it's a major arcana and this union is blessed by the angels right so even though this card does speak of decisions head over heart decision it's as though you're calculating and you know saying should I go with what my head tells me or what my heart tells me well obviously this is a heartfelt relationship for those of you that are dealing with someone who is a soulmate and I'm gonna say soulmate 
because of the true love card as well as the lovers card here those are the energies that are telling me that this you could be and this could be manifesting in your life now because what you don't know is that the Empress is anything that is loving because Venus is what we love Venus is also what we create any projects now this is not a love reading but I need to go with what I feel and um, the Empress as an energy can be something that is growing something that is manifesting something that you're bringing into your life she is a number three and threes are all about expansion and growth now the Empress can also be a pregnancy for those of you that are in a relationship whether you are single or in a committed relationship um, there is a chance that there could be pregnancy for you at this time and if this is only an energy obviously you are um, you know the seed has been planted and in a matter of time and through patience you will be you will have the finished product in your hands within six months I'm going to say now the Empress can also be a mother of yours someone who takes on the role of the mother now at the root of your reading is the five of wands and the five of wands is you know trying to build on something there are changes though fives always speak of change now you know you are ruled but you are a fire sign so this is your element you could be in a group situation where you're hoping to manifest something you're working on something very creative and you do have quite a bit of fire here you did have you know with Mars going through your sign um, all you know and usually Mars goes through each sign it, it's in each sign roughly two months so you have felt this fire you have felt this inspiration and this drive to build or to change things up in your life some of you could be in a family situation where there's five people and they may not be on the same page so in the recent past the Aries with the six of swords you are moving on from troubled waters to something karma now you are moving into the energy of the high priestess so you know the high priestess have has got a knowing she has the knowledge now because she is the moon goddess um, we are having a full moon in Virgo um, roughly it would be I think on the 19th of this month so there could be some sort of a culmination and what is Virgo Virgo is um, your sixth house of work of your daily routine of your health anything to do with the natural the physical body and you know Virgo is very practical very calculated so you could be some of you even could be moving into some sort of clarity because you know and the full moon full moons are all about completion as well as clarity you could be moving into clarity in relation to anything in um, in regards to your health as I say Taurus is also the physical body and you know the Empress is she is expanding so she is receiving the harvest she brings in the harvest for you she's the mother of earth so she talks about stability she is um, you know threes are a point of success but there is room for more okay so patience is needed whatever you're building um, you're going to come to a you're at the point of balance right now but it's as though you're at a crossroads as well so there is the the inkling of you know getting to a point where you need to make a major decision this is like you're at a major crossroads especially with the two of wands and the two of wands in the divine position says that you're going through a new doorway a decision is going to be made that's going to take you to 
I think that you're already at this crossroads. And if you look at the high priestess, she's she's got um, she's sitting between those two pillars. They are new doorways for me. Now the high priestess is also the Axis Virgo Pisces. So again, anything to do with uh, completions, Pisces, completions within your daily routine, healing qualities. And you know that the Two of Wands always, to me, because you've got the Ace here as well, so you go from the Ace to the Two. So there is progression here, yes? The Ace of, uh, Ace of Wands is either clarity, it's either... Uh, what you feel passionate about, you are given, and because this is the hand of the divine, you are given the energy and the drive to start something new. Some of you could be starting a new year at school, let's say if you are at a younger age, this is a new creative project that you're starting, and it's going to give you, it has promise, it does uh, promise getting you to some new uh, venture, some new situation, anything to do with, as you can see, the world ball in his hands. He's actually holding the Ace of Wands. So some of you could be at a point of leaving something behind to start something new. And the Two of Wands, I always say, is Sagittarian energy. Now, Sagittarius is higher education. It's also the student or the teacher. Okay, because Gemini is the sign that is right across from Sagittarius. Now, Gemini would be the student. Gemini is also communication. It's short distance travel. This would be international travel. So this could be what you're at a crossroads with. Gemini is anything that is written, spoken, communicated. Okay, so... Hmm. Interesting. Now here, the action and advice to take is the Eight of Pentacles. So this speaks of sticking to what you've been working on. Continue putting in the effort that you've been putting. Eight is a beautiful number. Um, you are mastering what you're doing, so you've also got the ability to do this. That's what I see with this card here. Um, because it's in the position of action or advice. Now we are, um, Venus is in Capricorn, and Venus, transiting Venus, I want to say, is in Capricorn, which is the house of career on a collective scale. Venus is coming up to Saturn. So Saturn is the slave driver. Keep working and you will manifest because Venus will be moving over Saturn, then Pluto. Pluto is all about transformation, powering up and, you know, and again, very karmic times. And then Venus will be moving over the south node. And the south node is letting go of something of the past. I feel as though through working hard, you are opening new doorways in your life. And here is the, um, the indication, page of pentacles. This is something that is physical, tangible. This could be the project. This could be the start of something new. And the pages many times are students. But this could also be a message that's coming through from another earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. And um, there is potential through creativity and what you love doing to manifest the finances. Now, I want to say here the mature woman could be the same energy, the empress. Okay, now this could be a mother, this could be your own energy. Okay, so this um, looks like a mature woman, but she's, she's, I, I would say, because I'm matching her up with the empress, I would say that she's got an aura aura about her that is very magnetic. And for some of you, this could be the person that you are interested in. If you are male, doesn't matter. Even if you're female, it could be a same-sex relationship. But you see the Empress 
as being someone who could either be there for you, supporting you, or this is someone that is emana emanating beauty and attraction. You are very attracted. Now, if this is your energy, you are the mature woman, then you are very attracted to others. Okay, now we've got Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. We have Gemini, we have Taurus and Libra. And we've also got um, Taurus and Virgo more than likely. Capricorn wouldn't be so prominent here so far. Now here we've got the wallflower which speaks of, you know, I would say that with this card it does speak of boredom but it also speaks of just you are, it's as though you've been going on a path that was been there done that and I feel that something is changing up for you. I truly believe that something is changing especially with your ruler touching on um, on Uranus and Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius so I'm going to mention Aquarius as well. Some of you could be teaming up with an Aquarian. You do have swords here and I'm going to take more cards of course but just when you thought things were not going to change something comes in this is true love a message comes in this is a beautiful omen coming on the day of Saint Valentine's which is all about love now Valentine's Day is what we what we uh, expect from Valentine's Day is that someone will reach out to us, we'll, we will receive a bouquet of flowers, we will receive uh, an indication that, you know, we are worthy of true love, we are worthy of being loved. And I feel that with the wallflower here, I feel that there was a sense of not being important in your life. But I feel that this situation has matured. I think that you've done the hard work, dear Aries, and something is coming in for you. And this could even be, even though yesterday is Valentine's, but doesn't mean that love comes in only on Valentine's Day. The Page of Pentacles could be something that is going to stabilize for you. For those of you that are already on your path, you are making a decision. You, some of you could be making a decision between two people. And I've already mentioned the signs. I'm going to take two cards on the High Priestess. I see a J and I see a B. So for those of you that are choosing between someone whose name starts with J and another person whose name starts with B. And if this is not you choosing between two people, you know, your name could be starting with J or B and your partner vice, you know, the other way around. So I'm not going to mention names. I just, you know, the, the J and the B just stood out to me. So I have to go with what I feel. One card is the Nine of Pentacles and this is the energy of Virgo. So this speaks of wonderful finances, but obviously having worked very hard, you've got the Eight and the Nine but you are at the position where you are seriously hoping to have someone to share your successes with. And I feel that you have been successful, but you're at the point of concentrating at this time on partnerships and relationships. Um, now, when I say partnerships, yes, business, of course, but relationships, I think, is on the... Um, on your mind at this time. Let's take another card. And wow, I did say that you have been successful. This is the Six of Wands. And you know, this speaks of the energy of Leo. I'm going to say Leo as well, because Leo is usually someone who likes to show off their talents. Now, it could be someone who's got um, their Venus in Leo. It can work like that. As well as that, I'd like, like, if you're a female, please check out your Venus sign. If you're male, check out your Mars. And now for both sexes, your North Node. So if you know where your North Node is, please check that out. 
it looks as though you're moving into success but you may not be um, believing in your powers at this time or you're not telling people about it until you are certain let's take an, another card on the five of wands and you've got the seven seven of wands sticking up for what you believe in continuing to put in the effort now you are strong you've got a strong um, passion for what you want to manifest and I believe that you've had people not believing in your abilities and you are obviously proving them wrong let's look at the Empress and we've got the hangman so it's going to take a bit of time now if we add the 12 because the hangman is a 12 it does add up to a number three now this is the energy of Pisces that's where Chiron is give Chiron a few days and watch the difference okay because Chiron will be moving through your sign for the next um, eight years if I'm not wrong so you could be becoming the healer now it's not easy having a Chiron transit going through your sign but whatever victim mentality whatever past life wounds you are working through you have got the energy and the power to to heal let's look at the six of swords wow the wheel of fortune it's time for luck to come into your life this is a completion and this is Jupiter Jupiter being in Sagittarius another fellow fire sign is really behooving you it's doing you a really um, big favor now this is the wheel of fortune which is a 10 and 10s always are completions now this is Sagittarian energy which I've already mentioned here let's look at the lovers the wheel of fortune says that since you've got the six of swords here it says that the chips were down it's time for change the chips are turning upwards for you dear Aries if you've been unlucky in love it's uh, times are changing oh wow I've got a few and I just got the goosebumps I've got a few Aries clients Aries people that are close to me and I'm so happy for this message let's take the lovers death transformation wow this is Scorpio Scorpio is all about changes and you know that Venus will be as I said moving over Pluto that's when the change will come for you um, now that's going to happen Venus is touching on Pluto in about 10 days well wow, that is interesting you just had the Wheel of Fortune which is a number 10 let's look at the Ace of Wands oh wow Aries you've got the Sun here is Leo <laughs> you've got clarity you've got love this is true love this is true love passion clarity um, showing off your talents this is beautiful let's look at that eight of Pentacles and I love it oh wow <laughs> some of you are seriously pregnant congratulations others of you are pregnant with ideas and with beautiful beginnings in your life how oh, that is beautiful dear Aries oh congratulations I'm gonna say what you're working on is gonna pay off the messages coming through and what you've worked on even if this is a relationship this is bringing you stability and uh, you know that Venus coming up to Saturn is not easy but Saturn brings in the stability Saturn um, can be tough can be tough love um, but it's also longevity for those of you that are already in a committed partnership this could be marriage this is success you've put in the hard work and it's time for you to reap the rewards so you've got two aces here you've got the card of Jupiter you've got the Empress uh, well how many major arcanas do you have here it's time for you to receive let's look at that page of Pentacles just a little bit more clarity and four of Pentacles says that and this is very Taurian energy for me um, because you know that's how I feel 
some you know with um, Taurus is someone who is wanting to build on their foundation you know the energy of Taurus is I need my comforts I'm careful I'm grounded I'm I move slowly forward so I feel that with this energy Taurian energy which is your ruler moving into Taurus in a matter of a couple of hours now so this is beautiful if you've been careful um, with your heart I feel it's time for you to open open your heart you're ready to receive now fours are all about home family and the north node um, which is our karmic destiny at this time says that we're moving towards family situations we're moving towards building on our foundation our homes and anything that we feel is our security let's take one on the divine position which is the two of wands and we've got the emperor here wow <laughs> now the another major arcana there's another four now the emperor is either stability this is probably your partner or this is your energy look at this Aries you've got the emperor and you've got the empress wow now these are your parents they're here for you for those of you that have been hoping to become parents you are you could be at a mature age if this is something that you thought you could not manifest um, you know I think that you deserve to have something given to you these are blessings that are coming from the divine I seriously think that you deserve it now the Emperor if this is a boss then this is obviously some sort of a help that's coming in for you you're either being promoted or you're becoming the Emperor you're standing on this throne and you are able to call the shots you're able to give the orders nevertheless this is stability this is strong fiery energy and as I'm saying I do believe very strongly that your hard work your perseverance is going to pay off so some of you may have matured through Saturnian lessons through you know we haven't gone through easy times recently so I want to say that if you've stuck to the program stuck to your routine it's time to receive let's look at the middle position which is the nine of Pentacles and the six of wands with the um, the sorry the high priestess let's take three Sibylas and we've got melancholy melancholia and this is like the five of Pentacles we have domestico which is a lack of trust there isn't a lot of trust even though you've got someone who's here to help there is like a a disbelief in the in the ability to receive help or anything to do with trust as well nevertheless the domestico is someone who is close to you that could have their own reasons why they're helping you out let's say now this is like the like the eleven of wands so you know what this looks like an eleven they're wands you're standing between those two um, wands here so it's like again standing in that doorway and look at the doorway behind him I do believe that help is on its way and we've got the Fidelta which is loyalty companionship friendship um, this is like the nine of cups so this is friendship being loyal staying on the course staying on your routine and obviously what is Fidelta it's the dog which is man's best friend so you know the divine is probably for some of you that have been 
having issues with friendship um, and there was a, a lack of trust or you didn't trust that they would be there for you, well then, um, you know, change your mind because the cards are saying that you will be coming through with flying colors if you have been the friend that someone um, did not believe in your friendship and you've gone through hardship here with the uh, melancholia, then things are changing. You, you need to believe. You need to believe. Let me take a couple more cards and I want to look at the Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles in the action and advice. So we've got Alegria, Merriment and Happiness. You're almost there, dear Aries. We've got Disgrazia and this is, for me, it's Uranus. Okay, now this is a seven, which is divine, so happiness is coming in suddenly. So it's going to be a sudden change, shift, right? And it's bringing you the Ace of Pentacles. And here we've got another seven, like the Seven of Cups. So it's Piscean energy. This is a discovery that's happening. This is something that you're finding out. This could be a solicitor, someone who works behind a desk. And this is also the crazy scientist, so the Aquarian energy is here as well. Now we've got fire and we've got fire and we've got Uranus, Mars and Uranus coming together. For you, I believe it's going to pay off. Look at the celebration that you have here. Wow. <laughs> Aries, I love it for you. I truly do love it for you. I do think that Taurus, um, with your ruler moving into Taurus, it's going to be a time for you to receive. And it's a time of believing. Believe in true love, Aries. Believe in your heart overflowing with happiness. Times of boredom and being that wallflower are up. Okay, it's time for you to get um, busy, get excited. Yeah. Get excited, Aries. Beautiful things are coming in. Wishing you all the best. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Your, um, your trust in my readings is very, very appreciated, and I hope that these readings are of help to you. Okay, sending you lots of love. All the best, dear Aries. Bye-bye.